the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of <laughs> seven deadly sins i almost said breaking bad <laughs> okay seven deadly sins woohoo that's how excited i am to watch breaking bad after this anyway seven deadly sins before we get into the reaction though make sure you guys look at the links down below all right uh if you click that join button and become a member of the community you will have early access to my youtube videos where i'm currently five episodes ahead on all the, show, on all the shows that i'm watching and if you want to watch the full reactions instead you can head over to my patreon where i'm also five episodes ahead and last but not least you can find a link to my discord server down there as well click it join it and have fun with the community all right anyway so last episode of seven daily Sims was actually really really good right we got um we got we got kind of everything that we wanted we got action we got a little funny funny with the with the with hawk the pig and we got a nice little love story okay between elaine and bond all right so elaine thousand year goddess fairy whatever the hell uh fucking protected this um this uh fountain of youth thing on top of a big ass tree and King apparently left her in solitude for a last time. We don't know why, but he did leave. Don't know why yet. And Bon uh, met up with her. And she, I guess she, out of all the humans that, that she has run into, I'm sure she doesn't run into much. He was the most genuine, right? And uh, let's be honest. He's a hot, he's a hot looking dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's, he's got the muscles, he's got the hair, he's got, you know, he's got the look. I'm not, I'm not even going to calf about that. He's a nice looking dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, he came up there and he made her happy straight up. He made her happy. He made her laugh and all that type of shit. And um, that on top of a traumatic experience, which happened immediately afterwards, you know, after the week that they were doing whatever they were doing. Okay. A demon fucking attacked. All right and the demon i mean normally uh, I, I mean th this this demon actually looks strong as fuck um and bond couldn't defeat the demon uh unless he took the fountain of youth water unfortunately the demon killed or did uh, dealt a fatal blow to both bond and elaine so only one person can they could have went half seas right they could have both be have been half undead no i guess not anyway um bon of course wanted her to drink it she drank it but she didn't really drink it she transferred all of it to him uh in their first kiss which i i think that was that was absolutely adorable that was very cute and um yeah so that's a pretty sad story ever since then bon has been trying to get her back um you know seeing them you know rendezvous at at this capital of the dead is pretty heartwarming you know and i really do hope someday that we can bring her back because not only is she Bond's lover, or she's going to be, um, she's also King's sister, right? So if we bring her back, yeah, that, that, that'll make the squad much more happy. And, uh, I, and I haven't forgotten, she's got the almighty push. So she's also got some sick-ass powers. So she'll be a great addition to the squad. So hopefully that happens later. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> so now King, I think, is going to help, help us out. Because now he knows that Elaine didn't hate Bond, or Bond didn't kill her they actually they love each other straight up so now um we are currently 1v4ing holy knight guila gila however the fuck you say her name i don't know how she's she's she lit she legit 1v3 against diane meliotis and bon she she legit is, and she doesn't have a scratch on her so now with the help of king hopefully we can take her down that i mean after seeing gil thunder versus meliotis i just assume that you know, these seven deadly sins were just much stronger than the Holy Knights, but not this girl. This girl is fucking crazy. She's straight up super strong. She's got a fencing sword and an exploding fencing sword, which is really cool. Also, we found out that Ameliotis is power uh, full counter where he can pretty much repel your attack two times over. And also Bond's power snatch where he can telekinesis something to him or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, cool powers. And uh, we, we, we don't know. We didn't know what King's power is yet, um, but we did find out about this term sacred treasure, which I now believe is the weapons of the seven deadly sins. Meli Melio Meliodas is, is his broken sword, which makes him full counter. Uh, I don't know what Diane's is. I think Bond's was the was the nunchucks he used uh, when he was with Elaine against that demon. I guess he lost it. I don't know, but I think that that was his sacred treasure. And King's sacred treasure is obviously his pillow, which is a spear or a fucking huge teddy bear. It's, it, it's the weapons they use to, to maximize their power, I think, right? So, um, 
it'll be exciting to see th what the rest of their uh, sacred treasures are going going forward to the story so anyway let's go and get into it man this is uh sds seven daily sins season one episode nine like subscribe that bitch <laughs> So here's the thing. If Bond doesn't take damage, how the fuck did he get that scar? Right here. Something must have hit him hard for him to get that scar, right? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? He's about to 1v1 her? She was 1v3ing these three, though. Is King the strongest of these four? Oh, shit. That's fucking dope. <laughs> No, he is working her, bro. Holy fuck. Whoa, form five? It's got more forms? A bunch of kunais. Dude, King is strong. Oh, she's done. That's it. Fairy King Harlequin. I love that. Damn. He's a he's so his name's not just King as a, like a first name. He's an actual king. Oh my god. That's fire. <laughs> Ooh, good full counter. That's annoying to fight against. How do you do damage against Meliodas? If he can parry you, you're fucking done. Damn. Well, hopefully we see her again. I like her. <laughs> so she called him Lord Helbrum. So that means he's probably stronger than her. All right. We got some more players. I'm glad there are actually some holy knights that can go head up against these sins. Otherwise, it'd be too, you know, it'd be too one-sided. Is that his real form? <laughs> Wait, what's the point, though, of him having this form and a fucking fairy form? Well, just so he becomes older? I don't see the point. Just stay in your kid form, man. <laughs> Oh, shit. See, I was right. Each of the sins is supposed to have a sacred treasure, which makes them reveal most of their power. Okay, so they actually don't... Wait, Mel 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 Meliodas isn't his sword on his back? We need to find that shit. We need to find these three's weapons and fucking bop off. First, I think we should find the sins, because then it'll be easier to check, check on the weapons. Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> 
More holy knights, bro. Man. I'm trying to see these guys fight. <laughs> What the actual fuck? Bro, I can't wait to see why he's called the Rathsin because he seems so happy go lucky. We saw a glimpse of it. We saw a glimpse of it earlier in that little village. Man, I can't wait to see why. He just they just showed showed him making an abyss. <laughs> Bro, I can't wait to see why he was called the Rathsin. Because he seemed so happy go lucky. We saw a glimpse of it earlier in that little village. Man, I can't wait to see why. So they have the power, they just can't access it without their their weapons. I like that. Kind of how, you know, Thor's hammer enhances Thor. <laughs> That's dope. We need to find this these weapons now. Now. Wait, isn't that a demon? Is that the same one? From the fucking the Bon Elaine fight? Wait, what? Oh, shit. We got a cor Well, I mean, there are probably many corrupt holy knights, but that guy seems the most corrupt. He's feeding demon blood to these bitches. What the hell? That's Diane's sacred treasure. That thing's huge. <laughs> also, this thing looks like I've seen it before in, in Adventure Time. What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm excited. What can she do with that big old thing? Can she just like hit that shit on the ground and make like a mountain? <laughs> That'd be dope. <laughs> Wasn't that the knight? The holy knight? Or was that like, like his twin brother? <laughs> I could have sworn that we saw that guy. Okay. Okay. Before I say anything about the episode. Uh, after credits, my guys. After credits. Actually, good scenes in there. Oh, my fuck! Oh, he just... He definitely just died. Oh, she's good, though. Hey. Pause. We've seen those eyes before. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some thinking in it. Where have we seen those eyes before? In the show. Meliodas. Meliodas when when he showed us the glimpse of the wrath. Those are the same. The, the, I could have sworn that's the same exact color of eyes. Like it was dark. It was dark low. And then it went like purple up top. Am I stupid? I kind of want like want to rewatch the the episode where we saw Meliodas. Do I have it here? Can I just like look at that real quick? I don't want to like, you know, take too long or anything. Um, I think I got it here though. Sorry, I'm like looking through my. Also, can I like show you guys? Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys too. I'm literally doing this live. Okay, this is this is like some real shit right now. I got it. Yep. Okay, I can show you this. Oh, don't mind that. Pew! Pew! <laughs> um, hi! Those were the eyes that we just saw for that one girl, no? If that's the case, then here goes a theory. 
Mel Meliodas is a fucking demon. Or at least he's got some demon within him. Oh, you know what? That would explain the wrath part. These eyes are the exact same eyes that Jericho turned into when she fucking got the demon shit, demon blood. So that means this motherfucker's like half demon or some shit, which is a normal thing for a protagonist. Um, damn, damn, that's sick. That's crazy. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I have to be right here, right? They wouldn't make those eyes exactly the same if that weren't the case, right? I have to be right here. You know, I could totally be wrong or whatever. I, it could just be a coincidence, but that's got to be the case. Meliodas is half demon or some shit. Or he he, he did the he he hooked he he linked up with Hendrickson and and was like his first test subject for the demon blood. Some some shit like that, right? Ooh. Okay, well, I'm I'm curious to see just how much stronger Jericho gets, because she was really fucking weak against Bon, but we saw how strong Gila was, right? And the reason why Gila was so strong was because she actually drank some of the demon blood. Oh shit, boy! Also, nice touch on keeping Gila's eyes closed, because I mean, if if her if her shit opened up, then we I might have seen you know the same type of eyes that Meliodas once had in that little doctor's room right so cool all right well anyway with that theory aside which i'm pretty sure that's correct the sacred treasures i was also right on that as well see the the uh shows like this that's just um it, it's very predictable like naruto was was very predictable uh, at some points you know um fucking uh, demon slayer was very predictable at some points you know there's certain animes that it, it's definitely fire what, what, what you're watching but Animes, for the most part, are pre are very predictable. So that's why I like making, you know, these fucking random ass theories or just, you know, just uh, guessing because it's fun. It's fun because if I'm right, I look like a genius. If I'm wrong, who gives a fuck? <laughs> so, yeah, um, the sacred treasures basically um, just like Thor's hammer to Thor, they make they enhance your power. OK, so we need to get however what, what, what it takes to get these sacred treasures. We need to get them first. Okay, um, maybe along the way as we search for more sins, we still have three more sins to go. All right, excited to, to meet those, but definitely we need the weapons because we saw that King was able to, to, to just beat her ass once he, you know, because he has his sacred treasure at all times, his fucking little pillow. So, yeah, damn, a lot of things, uh, a lot of things to look forward to in the show. You know, this, this corrupt Hend Hendrickson guy, these holy knights, these holy knights powered up with demons now, fucking these sacred treasures. The rest of the sins you know seeing what their powers are you know and just seeing the backstory behind everything dude i mean there, there is so much that they can that, that they can go into in the show and uh, i'm excited for it i'm excited for it so anyway that's gonna be it for this reaction guys before i end though make sure y'all look at the links down below you can find a link to become a member of this channel click that join button yeah shan uh and with that you will have early access to my youtube videos where i'm currently five episodes ahead on all the shows that i'm watching and if you want to watch the full reactions instead you can head over to my Patreon, where I'm also five episodes ahead. And last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server down there as well. Click it, join it, and have fun with the community. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. And I'm going to see y'all for the next episode of 7 Deadly Sins. Alright? Peace!